Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. You're watching another guide to Project 1999 EverQuest. I'm uh, take AFK off. Uh, currently in the docks in East Freeport, and we will be doing Freeport today. Uh, <clears throat> everybody uh, that travels through the Ocean of Tears will know exactly where this is. There's somebody up top there. L Little the Great. All right, so um, this Freeport, the city of Freeport is actually freaking enormous. I had no idea there was so much going on. Uh, I just passed through it, run to the bank, use a few vendors, grab the boat, knew about the underground tunnels. But it is enormous. I mean, I, uh, level one to five quests alone, I counted 28. And uh, I'm not going to spend two, three hours going through uh, this this video. So um, we're going to... Just kind of skip the uh, the newbie quests. Uh, basically, whatever. Find find your guild, and uh, just question everybody uh, as part of your guild, and they'll hand out quests. And there's other quests, and um, just go look up on Project Ninety Nine um, the wiki, and it will link you to all the quests pretty easily. Um, yeah. So here we are in the docks, and there's there's three maps. There's actually five maps. Three of the top uh, east. West and North Freeport, and then there's West and East uh, Underground Tunnels. Seafarer's Roost. Well, um, actually, I want to go see something, a creature that I have not seen since uh, back in probably around the year 2000, maybe 1999. Um, okay, so these two guys, um, I think they're vendors. I usually sell to them or, or buy from them. You can, I think you can buy uh, fishing supplies from them. Which, uh, if you're bored, you can do it on the docks while you wait. There's guards here. This is a very common area for people uh, 45 plus or so to hunt. And for the life of me, I don't understand why there's so many bodies here. But uh, the other day, when I was finishing up my uh, last video, uh, somebody died of the Priest of Discord. And uh, he shouts out their name. Um, I don't know what he's, he says. Something like this. I've shown you the power of the priests of score. No, I'm not going to try it myself because I don't want to lose experience. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't know what why, but uh, I don't think that's actually to the guards. It kind of looks like somebody was running up to this guard. It could very well be. Uh, I do know the priests of score can hit you from pretty far away if it's aggroed on you. But uh, yeah, uh, if anyone knows the actual reason why there's so many corpses here, because I don't remember this in classic. Uh, this is just in Project 1909. Please let me know because it's a bit of a mystery. So the guard is apprehensive. So these are the Freeport Militia. They are not exactly... Um, oh yeah, there's no map. <laughs> used to playing uh, all my other games. Okay, so uh, where are we? I, there's a map. It's it's a physical map right in front of me on my desk. All right. Uh, I think we need to go this way. This way. West Freeport. Um, we don't want to actually go to West Freeport, but I think that... Uh, we go. We take a left instead of going right. Is it right here? No. Yeah, these are corrupt guards, uh, Freeport militia. And I think this is going to take me right to West Freeport, which is what I don't want. Yeah, the map uh, showed that there's a way to get to the rest of East Freeport. I think. See, this one says to West Freeport. I think it was actually here. Are you serious? That's not what I see on this map. Um, yeah, it showed an opening further up where I was, so I guess this is the actual way. And I assume, yeah, there's two different ways to West Freeport, the way I just was. And uh, you can actually go to the northern desert of Aro from here, too. So there's also a newbie area as well. And there's vendors all over here. Um, nothing of Trader's Holidays, nothing of importance. Um, there's quests everywhere. There's got to be several hundred quests. So, uh, yeah, you just have to look it up if you are um, looking for quests in the city. Now, now I have to admit I'm a little lost because this map has me turned around. Uh, I think we should go this way. We're looking for scraps. And I don't mean a scrap. For scraps. I used to actually kill this guy. And now this is a dead end. Is it? Yes, it is. Well, this is getting off to a good start. Armor by Ichthar. Ichthar. Okay, so that just goes in a circle. Where the heck is the... No wonder I haven't seen scraps. 
haven't been able to find where the rest of the city is on East Freeport. This might be a whole video about me getting lost. Well, I mean, it's not me getting lost. I mean, I'm trying to follow the map. The map is just not cooperating. I think this is it. Yeah. Uh, Hallard's Resales. This is an area I actually don't think I've gone through uh, since playing Project 99. Wind and Black Hammer. Kargek Redblade. Yeah, this kind of looks like a more of an impoverished area of the city. Uh, well, you have to keep in mind, it's a lot of it's desert-like on this part of Antonica, the continent of Antonica that we just uh, entered. Now, I guess, officially. I don't know where the islands of uh, the Ocean of Tears stand. But, uh, yeah, I've got to find this, this cat, or was it a dog? Maybe it's both. I'm, it was a weird creature. Well, Scraps is right here, actually. Now, I, might, I hope I don't get killed. <laughs> I just remember uh, Scraps was a feisty animal, and it may aggro on me. I think if you attack it, the maybe other NPCs join in. I don't know. I, I think a lot of people aren't aware of what Scraps is. There's Scraps. It's apprehensive, so it's blue. I mean, I'm 27. I may be able to kill it. I'm just kind of afraid that uh, others will join in. Wow, it's kind of like a demon-eyed dog. Um, so it looks at me apprehensively. I could fight it if I want. You can attack anybody in this game. Why can't I open this door? You must have a lockpick in your inventory to do this. Uh, will Scraps attack me? He might. If I try to lockpick it. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. You're not sufficiently skilled to pick this lock, okay. Uh, I actually don't know what that's to. It's not list, like, what does it say? Um, it says, Hallard Resale is a merchant selling various weapons. Also KOS dog named Scraps. This dog is not KOS to me. Maybe because I'm a rogue, who knows. Maybe you have to be a high level rogue to go in there. Yeah, I remember going down there and the dog would just automatically attack. And uh, I think I died several times to it. And I don't know if I ever actually did kill the dog. But, um, yeah, so this is just the other side. There's a little bit of tents down there. There's nothing. I think, like, on the map, the map sh kind of shows it differently. There's more t of a tent area. Huh. I actually don't know this part of the city too well. Uh, everyone's apprehensive. So far, there's a different guy. Uh, but I think that down there, uh, it's 12 and 13. It says there's an inn, a uh, secret entrance to the underground tunnels, and uh, there's an empty building with secret entrance to the underground tunnels as well. Chops. It just says chops and hops. Well, I think I may have to return here when I go down into the underground. Uh, or I can just find the other entrances, like out outside of Freeport, and just take them in. Uh, I can go in that way. So let's let's find our way. That's basically everything in uh, that I want to show in uh, East Freeport. But um, I think for most people, East Freeport is just a place to kill guards and catch the boat. Really. <laughs> other than that, there really isn't that much here. So we'll go back to West Freeport. But, you know, like I said, if you want to get involved with all the, the human quests and uh, stuff, there's there seems to be, like, a great wealth of all that stuff in, in Freeport. Uh, there's underground tunnels, and uh, there's evil trainers in the underground area. So you have to be careful. I mean, I think some of my guys were killed if you managed to aggro them. Back in Classic, quite often, that mobs would see through walls, so uh, which was a little bit frustrating. Was what uh, th was something that a lot of people used to complain about. So, yeah. So what you can do with these corrupt guards is um, you can join them, I guess, or support their side if if you want to be evil. And um, if you want to be good, you can support the warrior and paladin guilds. And uh, but it will t it's either or. You, when you hand in certain things like uh, uh, orc scalps or whatever they are. 
um, it'll take down faction with either or depending on who you hand it into. So if you hand it into the militia, you're going to support them and then it'll be against the warriors and the paladins. Okay, so this is an area... Uh, we're now in, in West Freeport. This is the Monk Guild right over there. And I think this is called the Stage up here. Not sure. Like, they, they put a lot of things in around the city. I assume that Kainos was no different as well. Um, it's just kind of odd because this is never really a well-used area within the game, as far as I know, from remember, from Classic. I mean, for starting out, for a starting city, I think it, people just kind of want to use it for the bank and the boat and to sell stuff, and that was basically it. Um, of course, I think monks were always popular, especially before Cunard came, because you could only be a human. So I think it was only here or Kainos, really, for, for monks starting out. Any res in Dagner's Cauldron? Out here? Okay. Uh, so yeah, here's the Monk Guild. They're all they're practicing fighting outside. Um, kind of a Spartan place inside. You got your trainers and your vendors. and uh, So there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, sashes that you can get for starting out. Uh, I think they go up quite fairly high in level. I'm not sure. Um, sure what these guys are up to it i think there's kind of some rude people around here if you talk to them well this guy looks at me amiably probably because i'm a rogue actually hey friend nice wallet you got there bet it's full of money huh why don't you let me take a quick look huh <laughs> yeah i think that's what i remember and so the guy says um uh hello there friend me and Rebby here we're just a couple of regular merchants though we've got nothing to sell right now we'll, we'd gladly take any donation them's the breaks i suppose so this peasant woman i don't i don't remember this she's over here she's trying to fill up two buckets of water her frail arms strain at her work and pale pain fills her eyes with tears oh Well, I'm trying to initiate it based on the brackets of water. Um, I'd have to look it up probably, but obviously she needs help. And uh, where the heck does this go? You know, it's just, it's very easy for me to get uh, kind of turned around. This is a, a, the other guild. Let's see, where am I looking at right here now? Um, I must have wandered over to f number five, which is the... Uh, Mage, Wizard, and Enchanter guilds. Academy. Oh, I gotta make sure these guys won't want to kill me. I'm a rogue and uh, I follow. Is it Bristlebane? Yeah, follow Bristlebane and I'm a half elf. So that's not going to endear me to everybody in the city. I don't know if if uh, many people will attack me. Hey, there's what the heck? <laughs> there's an Aviac down here. I guess he uh, is part of the vendors or he trades or, or a trainer uh, says he, he's, you're now a member of the enchanter class so maybe that's just a spell uh, illusion he's put on him but yeah it's uh, floating <laughs> looks like there's a couple stories there now how do you get up there is it like this did I miss it? must be here yeah oh, I've been here before I remember checking this out months ago so yeah, all your vendors and, uh, sorry, all your trainers and stuff are in here. There's probably spell vendors, of course. They'll be here as well. There's two levels to it. Everything you can need, um, I guess, for starting out as a uh, spellcaster. Oh, um, did I just miss that? Does this take you up another level? Oh, it takes me out. Okay, cool. One-way trip for each pad. All right, so... Um, leaving away from these guys. I think I did play a class that these guys would attack me. I don't know who it was. What the heck could that have been? Well, it's either Sarkis, either my Ixar Shaman or Ixar uh, Shadow Knight. Maybe it was, you know who I think it was? I think it was my um, my Dark Elf Cleric, actually. I think these guys were um, threatening. I'm not positive on that. But that was Dark Elf dead over there, so maybe that was the case. Okay, so based upon what the map says, uh, I should be able to go as far south as possible. 
and then turn right and the warrior guild should be there I think that is correct actually this is the arenas here so it's a PvP arena um, I've run through arenas before and um, I think that you can unless they change the rules for P project 99 um, people can openly attack you start saying spamming you with uh, yeah you have entered an uh, arena PvP area and how the heck do I get out? Maybe I shouldn't have come in here. <laughs> but I, I have, I've had people run by and they haven't attacked me or anything. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, any level can attack any level. Well, so, oh, there's a guy in, I don't know if this is considered a prisoner or if he's waiting to go and fight above a prisoner. Nope, he's a prisoner. So who are you guys? People who are not responding to me is who they are. Pay mind to authorities of Freeport. Vile they may be, but powerful and many they are. Um, you know, she's not really answering. Or I can't really do anything with her. I don't know what, she, maybe she's just for a quest. I mean, if they're not a vendor or a trainer, they, or a guard, they must be there for a quest. Yeah, I do actually do remember in Classic uh, having to run through arenas. Um, people would attack you <laughs> just to be dicks. It's not not that they would actually were able to kill you. Oh, we're getting somebody come in here and spam there. Right out of the uh, Common Lands, which will have to be the next video, East Common Lands. Okay, so where the heck are we? Plagueis Lattison. Uh, warrior class. So this is the warrior area. It is outside. It's it's kind of connected to the arena, and uh, I'm not sure where you go to hand in like orc scalps. You have to go look that up yourself. But uh, so obviously I took a, a bit of a wrong turn. The heck can I get out of here? Okay, so I think I just did get out of here. Yeah, um, it doesn't really advertise the massive warrior guild sign on the front but that's where they are yeah it just says freeport arena okay so from here uh excuse me i actually did miss uh i missed the the southern newbie area for east common lands it's not, not a big deal uh you don't do you actually start out there i if they there is some human class i started and um in freeport so i think i spawned originally spawned out in West Freeport, out the newbie area, and when I died, and I was very confused why I couldn't find my corpse, um, I spawned in East Freeport in the newbie area. So keep that in mind, because it's a little bit of craziness. So um, Freeport, founded on Sweat and Steel. This is the Freeport Militia House. These guys are corrupt. Uh, they are the ones that basically are the guards all over the Common Lands and um, West Freeport. Or sorry, all of Freeport. Um, Boomba the Big, so he's a, a vendor, and uh, quite often people come here, sell whatever they want, and uh, I've already sold before coming out here. I just I actually need to hit the bank, so uh, it's a great place to get a bind for anybody, and uh, I should probably, if I'm going to be using Tekken, probably should do that at some point uh, before taking off. So here's uh, the great big newbie area, it looks like a big open desert, and uh, there's Orcs, uh, bats, skeletons, and guard who's out of place. This guy looks like he had his stuff stolen from him. I've never seen a guard with no armor on. <laughs> That's weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, so uh, I think, I'm not sure what this is over here. There could be a vendor as well. It's not even listed on the, the map. Who are you? Ping Fuzzle Cutter. Well, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's a vendor. Cool. So when you sell, you're out here as a newbie, you can. Uh... Oh, also keep in mind this is, as far as I know, the only fire beetles that you'll find. Um, like if you start out in Fedor uh, as a ranger or a druid, you get that spell that requires fire beetle eyes. Um, well, here you go. Here's your fire beetles. And um, well, there's no eyes there, but you just have one, and you just put it in your inventory, like on the outside. I think it needs to go there and the empty slot and um, it actually helps you see at night so a little bit and uh, you'll be able to use it to cast your 
whatever whatever spell that is. Uh, I haven't played my ranger in probably about a year, so it's it's been a while. And uh, you can't find those anywhere in Fade. Where I, I, as far as I know, I checked back in Classic, and I was a little bit disappointed um, because when I first got my ranger spells, I was so happy, but I couldn't cast that spell. I think it was the only offensive spell you get as a ranger at level nine. Okay, so that's it for West Freeport. Uh, we will have to turn, return to go into the tunnels at some point. So I'm looking at my North Freeport map. We're going to have to go this way. And uh, one of the most important places and for anyone in the whole game is the bank. And we will definitely be hitting that up. Takes a little bit of a load to get into there. So yeah, there's actually four entrances from North Freeport to West Freeport looking at this map. It's a little strange. Uh, looks like you can take like a stream that runs through the city in North Freeport, takes you to West Freeport. And where I ended up, uh, there's still dead bodies. <laughs> Maybe they're fighting guards and they couldn't get away in time or arch enemy. Arch enemy of who? Now, this guard looks different. Sir William. He may... Is he a guard? Or is... I think that there is, like, the odd warrior that's walk, wandering around. I'm not sure. Maybe North Freeport is guarded differently. Yeah, these guys are all... They're named different. They look different. I think that these are maybe part of the warrior guild. Mars Hearts Chords. Weekly shows lessons, instruments for sale or trade. Now... No, Freeport City Hall. Um... Yeah, behind me is, this is the Bard Guild. Um, wow, it's a bustling city hall. <laughs> well, there's another door here to more emptiness. Now, there's an upstairs to more emptiness, some beds, more emptiness. Yeah, it looks like city hall is um, <laughs> really functioning well. Also, could depend on the time of day or what day it is but uh yeah it's a pretty dead place okay so um yeah you you'll get uh i think it's from Kelethon you'll get your quest to deliver to the bard's guild out in um in a freeport and this is the place you go um is it felicity starbright i think she may be the one you deliver it to if you're interested in helping the league and tonic and bards by delivering some mail you should talk to ton two strings i think you drop you may drop it off with her i could be wrong and then you you could pick up new ones for from Ton Two Strings. I'm not sure where he asked me to take it. Um, let's see. I am interested in mail. I'm just curious where they want me to go. Okay, so he wants me to deliver it all the way. Oh, he gives me the choice, actually. Three choices to Kelethin, High Pass, or Kano. So that's kind of neat. That would be great if they uh, would pay you if it's far away. I mean, taking it to any of those three places is pretty far, especially Kanos, unless you get like a uh, port out there but yeah you have all your trainers and everything here it's kind of a neat friendly little place I'm sure how these people look at me uh, kindly yeah they, they like me so finest dwarven steel west of Caledon Grofaths how do you even say that Grofaths sounds like a orc name or a ogre name Gro or even a troll name Grofaths Forge so it's some kind of dwarf or is my my wife, who's actually was from Jamaica, she calls dwarfs duofs. <laughs> I had to ask her to say that a few times before I actually, uh, well, kind of burst out laughing. But yeah, that's how they Jamaicans say dwarf is duof. <laughs> so um, let's see, where are we? Well, there's quite a bit here. We're pretty close to the Cleric and Paladin Guild. Just kind of odd because it actually shows there's two different sections for the Paladin Guild. Uh, I think so. City Hall is right here. We should be able to. Yeah, here's the opening. This kind of goes into the great big trading area where the bank is, Lake Lake and Borges. Okay, so Temple Mar. Uh, I have to make sure I'm not going to get murdered. Last thing I want is just to get one shotted by some guard or. Um, they just look at me apprehensively. I, that may happen. I'm going to go stealthing through the tunnels um, at the points where it gets a little dangerous. So, the sentry, I don't think this is... Yeah. Please seek guidance from the clerics within the temple. I am but a sentry of passion, and it is my duty to protect this temple. 
Sentry Gallus. Says the same thing. Temple of Mar. Cleric serving in will of the twins Methaniel and Erolasi. Oh, that's kind of neat in here, actually. Yeah, so you have your your vendors. These guys would be vendors, you can tell. They're, they're kind of dressed homely. Pallius Jartan. It is good to see you, Tekin. Do not forget that the clerics of Methaniel Mar are here to help those who pay tribute to him. Should you require me to cure disease, just mention it. That's kind of neat. Cure some disease. Uh, paladin class. So that's why it does say... I can't do anything with him. I actually didn't want to fall down here. Jamaz Larkinson. He is cleric trainer. That's It's neat in here. It's different. It's not something I... I um, typically see well if you know if I had all my life to devote to this game I would play the heck out of it but uh, to level up and be a level I probably could have had a few 60s by now if I had no life other than playing the game but uh, I'd be divorced <laughs> and I actually did lose my uh, original girlfriend because of this game of uh, five years we were together five years back in 2000 that the relationship ended so I, I full I know well. It's not just because of the game. There's other reasons, of course, but the game did contribute it, to it. Um, so, Hall of Truth. Now, Hall of Truth. Don't really know what that would be, looking at my legend. Uh, I don't know, but uh, that's pretty much all the trainers. I mean, there's the Paladins Guild. I don't think I want to go to the Hall of Truth. In fact, I don't even know... How I ended up here. Let's keep searching around. Freeport Office of the People. Oh, this is kind of neat. I don't know what that means. Office of Landholders. Office of the People. Is it like a land registry type place? You own some land. Gotta go register it. No idea. But, um... <laughs> these guys are just vendors so yeah and there's a, a guard here so yeah these are not uh, they're not militia and he's blue to me <laughs> doesn't mean I can kill him though as a rogue uh, without epic weapons I'm kind of weak as hell uh, if you take out your epic weapons and put in uh, mid-range weapons which are maybe a few hundred plath each you will definitely know the pain that I go through <laughs> when trying to uh, fight one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so now here I am. Uh, do we go this way? I think we do go this way. Yep, here it is. This is the way we originally went if we kept on running. So y you'll learn where to go um, to get where you need, like to the bank and stuff like that. Yeah, here it is, Freeport Market. What the? Kospar's corpse. <laughs> Sticking out like that. That's funny. The Jade Tiger's Den. Well, you know, I actually had to go through all these these people, uh, all these buildings. Um, there's a Fletching building for my ranger. Right here. I was able to make a, a bow and arrows. Um, it's a little bit more pricey than it was for my Wood Elf Ranger if, than if I had done it out in um, uh, uh, Kelethan. But... Uh, the thing is, I actually had buyers for the bows I was making so out in uh, the common lands, so I just ran here and made a few more of them. It's not that much expensive. A few more plat for all the mats. So here it is, the Vault Bank of Freeport with uh, Sir Braille on the outside. I don't really like me. And there's corpse in here. And I don't. I really don't understand why, um, you know, I'm not in combat. I suppose, like, I could just hit um, pick pockets and then get <laughs> get myself dead in one hit. It would be so fast. There's two red two red guys here, and the guard would probably jump in. And there's another one here. Oh, there's quite a few NPCs out here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, they're vendors. Actually, it's kind of, I always like that when they have a vendor right like next to the bank. It's very handy. So uh, let's hit this and go to change. So 40, I was carrying 44 plat on me. Uh, just 
put that in there. That's fine. The small my winnings and unrest, I guess, that I played through uh, around Halloween time this year, the year of 2014. Okay, so I, I think that's basically everything um, for the surface. So now I'm gonna delve into the tunnels, which I'm a little apprehensive about because I haven't uh, just have a memory of, you know, the the trainers coming through the walls, a big ogre, and just destroying me. Uh, so I'm going to find my way down there. Uh, so I'm going to have to check out the map and see what's what. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back out in front of West Report. Here's the newbie area. Now, I found out uh, where the entrance to the tunnel is um, through an old memory of mine that it's along the walls somewhere. You just got to find it. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's a player. <laughs> Kai's Kui. Okay, so uh, I believe it was like right where he is, uh, right where he is, right here, or is it here? Right here. It's probably like, oh, where do you go? <laughs> okay, so it says if I look at the map, this is a pretty long tunnel. I can find the map. It's five freaking maps for this place. Uh, I'm not following you, friend. He's hundred percent. He's fine. I'm not sure what... Can you not figure out how to fight? There you go. Okay, so uh, this really doesn't do very much. It's really, it takes you to East Freeport and along the way there's something called the Flooded Water Cistern. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'll decline. I'm trying to make a video here, man. <laughs> So I won't be surprised if I see him uh, as I'm trying to come out. I <laughs> wonder where this goes in East Freeport. Um, let me see. The, I mean, there's also the map of the East Freeport tunnels. Which, uh, yeah, it actually takes you right out to the harbor. So this is actually not a bad place to go. And uh, in East Freeport, I can find the entrance to the other places. Now, let us let me just quickly read 9, 10, 11 because I'm a little afraid of what I might run into. There's rogue trainers down here. Um, Dark elf rogue trainer. And rogue guildmaster. Okay, so that's when I zone. I have to see if uh, they'll kill me. So this is the water cistern. Oh, someone died down there. Okay, so... Um, I guess that, I mean, it shows on the map I can keep running. Maybe it's another invisible wall? Or maybe I have to, oops. Maybe you didn't know how to get out of the water. Well, I don't think I'm going this way. Nope. Let's go back up. Let's get out. Uh, that's not good. Does this take me back up to where I was, I guess? Yeah, it's too high for me to jump up. What way is my going? Uh, north. Okay, so one of these has to be a false wall. There we go. Now, yeah, we need to, yeah, I, I see exactly where it, it continues on and, uh, should be going east. Continues going east. This is the way that I was, I think I was talking about, south. This may take me right back or what? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's west. We need to go east. Let's go this way. <laughs> so yeah, I actually had my computer uh, was out of commission for it's over a week, and um, my power box failed on me. It wasn't a very pleasant experience. I didn't know how to find out what the problem was. I, like, the computer was just freezing completely, and um, constantly over and over, even before you, you boot into Windows. So this is something that I, I mean, it's not like I have extra power boxes laying around where I can test it or other parts of my computer. I didn't know if my drive was going or, or what happened, but... Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a headache. Had to take that in, and it took them quite a quite a while to figure out what the problem was. 
uh, I wasn't the head of the pack. There was three other people in front of me getting their computers looked at. And it's just one guy sitting in this, at his desk, um, surrounded by computers and uh, answering the phone and talking to customers. So, but that was actually the biggest computer shop around, um, NCIX computer, uh, in Vancouver. So they're actually pretty, got a pretty good reputation. Okay. So, uh, I do see NPCs in the distance and I'm running, there's only one way to go. So let's see this, this did look like it split off. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I know where I am at. Uh, so there's a bunch of rogue trainers around here. Is there like a false wall here? Jeez, I, I really don't want to get killed. <laughs> I am a rogue, but I don't know. I mean, faction-wise, I'm I'm a I'm still an elf, and they may not take kindly to that. But I don't see any NPCs. I don't know if this is just going to lead me. But you know, let's go back to where we, I was, because I, at least that way I can see there were trainers or the trainers somebody begins to cast a spell so if I get destroyed <laughs> um, yeah so yeah I like it the fact that as a rogue unlike a ranger it tells you if you are successful sneaking so I mean no one can see through Uh, some people have really long aggro range, so I'm going to take off. Okay, so look at me ha apprehensively. Apprehensively. You guys won't kill me, will you? Okay, well, I mean, I should be in my element. They're all, all rogues. I'm just going off the memory that how it used to be. Uh, there's a dark elf rogue trainer around here somewhere, which is a little odd. So. Derping's Corpse. Great name. Oh, I'm getting killed. Oh, damn it. It's by a dark elf. I'm not going to make it. Oh, I could strafe. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I was afraid to come in here, guys. <laughs> Just getting hit quite a bit. Uh, wow. You're wondering, you're probably wondering, oh, why is he being such a pussy? Well, <laughs> good cause. Good cause to do it. Hopefully this will take me back. Okay, <laughs> I'm not dying. I just noticed uh, the sound is... I don't know if the sound is even going, but I just noticed that, like I was kind of paralyzed. I'm not dead. I'm not going back to that spot, though. But uh, that is an area where you can go and train as a rogue. Um, <laughs> maybe if you're human, that <laughs> they won't come after you. But uh, if you're a human rogue, they won't come after you. But yeah, that's, that's a little weird. That's your typical uh, Varant. Could someone please buy me at the gate? Someone buying me at the EC line. This is what a lot of people want here. And, you know, sometimes it is a little hard to find people that will do that. But um, uh, a lot of people are busy in the city and uh, don't want to cater to noobs, I guess. But I'll be back when I gain a little bit more health. All right, so I've turned the sound up. Um, we just zoned into West Report. Oh, I'm, I'm in stealth. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going to avoid that area. <laughs> uh, looking at the map, it's pretty small. Um, it's just like three different rooms. I don't know what the heck the B is. I don't know why they would... What the heck is the B? Oh, uh, door to building 11 in East Freeport, and then stairs up to hidden entrance in building 13 in East Freeport. Actually, that m might be best... Uh, but the, uh, it comes out to Freeport Harbor if you keep going all the way to the east. So I, I'm going to try it. Um, uh, hidden myself from view, but not hidden. <laughs> Hide, please. 
Okay, so let's uh, crab walk because that apparently seems to work faster. Or at least it gives the illusion of going faster. Now we're going to go back down to the area. I guess, you know what, I don't really need to do this yet. Uh, dumb, dumb woman. Um, so it shows on the right side. Let's try this again, shall we? On the right side, there's a door. Maybe it's this door. And this should take me up. Yeah, I'd be a little bit uh, worried if I was a, a human rogue that that dark elf would attack me. Oh, um, I mean, is, is there a hidden wall? <laughs> It says, literally, stairs up to hidden entrance to building 13 East Freeport. That's A. And you know what? I, oh, that's on the other part. Uh, that's the other side of this tunnel system. So, But there is a B. It says door to building 11 in East Freeport. And you know what? That door is supposed to be right here. Right there, literally. Yeah, and I'm kind of hitting against the wall. I mean, I'm afraid these guys might attack me if I come out of stealth. Yeah, well, that didn't seem to work too well, did it? Uh, there's... Oh. Well, there's another door here. But this just goes out here, so... Um, yeah. That's really weird. I don't know the tunnels, obviously. I don't know it at all but um, that's the way to some dark elf woman who does not like me so let's uh, continue on let's just get going get out to the East Freeport docks this is the the area I was a little bit concerned about and rightly so as, as you can see you can't just run around but uh, there's a whole bunch of evil trainers on the same um, area East Freeport but it's in the tunnels it's on the other side and there's no instant access to it from this side you have to actually go out to uh well i should have been able to go up to a building but uh, i couldn't figure that out i don't know if it's something like uh, you, apparently in, in miss more you have to click on the painting to go through the secret door Ooh, just ran into some people uh, these guys look at me amiably so well where's this go then where in the heck am i This, I don't think I was supposed to run into this. <laughs> this probably take me out to the docks, right? Looks like it. Cool. Well, I'm not low level, so I don't have to worry about the shark. There's, I think it's a hammerhead shark out here. Yeah, no, it's not hammerhead. Oh, it is hammerhead. Yeah, it's green. Don't ask me what that bag is underneath it. It's obviously something that's... Oh, uh, yeah, at night time, there's a dark elf that comes out here. If I can target her. She's threatening, but she's green, so if she attacks me, I'll just destroy her. Maybe I should, just to get revenge. But, um... I think... Didn't I have to kill her? I think I may have. As a dark elf cleric, I think I, I did have to kill her. Should be pretty easy. Take some revenge on your evil race. And then after I'm gonna find out the other entrance to the tunnel where it <laughs> sadly it's the really scary area. <laughs> With all the evil drainers. Yeah, that would be kind of sad if you go into the wrong room as a human rogue and <laughs> the dark elf comes out and just kills you but you know with this game i can actually see it happening um yeah lots of it's actually good things i got good uh, faction for killing her wolves of the north i take it that those are the barbarians i don't think i've seen that faction listed before that's an area i haven't really had much experience um i think i saw much of it through watching um super bits and bob 
with uh, he him going through Halla and the uh, like the Everfrost area. Is that like a corpse over there? Or is that an Ixar? Oh, it's a human. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to find out where that um, other entrance is. Um, it's kind of in the area around where Scraps was. I'm getting turned around here already. But well, these guys look at me. Are they apprehensive? Indifferent. That's cool. Uh, indifferent is at least good. Banana, nana. Okay. So, oh, well, here's the south gate. Uh, it's pretty close. There's the newbie area. Some right here. Might as well show it. And there you go, south gate. This actually goes to the northern desert of Ro, uh, if you keep going south. And uh, yeah, so it, it was something really weird where you start out uh, in West Report and if you die, your blind point is here. So that's why I was a little confused. And it looks similar if you're not paying attention. You're like, okay, this is the West Report gate. Let's go find the corpse. But no, it's not. <laughs> I'll take it. This is a vendor. The crazy name. Ralphson Jerositon. Well, okay, so I need to find that. So I'm going to look at the map. I might be right by it. I don't know. Okay, so I assume... Um, oh, sneeze. I assume it's this way. Somewhere here. Uh, I was at 8... Okay, so am I facing west? I am facing west. But that actually doesn't really help me too much. I need to go, I think I need to go like south west where I am. Maybe in here. Uh, Hallard's Recess. You know what, I need the name of that place. So look at the map. Um, there's an inn and then there's an empty building. So just says inn. But. Uh, well, what's across from it? There's another empty building. Okay, so <laughs> this is helping me. Is it here? I actually think it may be down there. How are you supposed to even get down there? This place looks a little seedy. Chops and hops. Uh, Gora Smithy. That's, that's a neat sign, I think. Um, what does this say? says warning condemn do not enter for sale can you go in cannot go in well that sucks as to where i am oh, oh what the heck just a dark elf wandering through here <laughs> that's strange i don't dare attack her because all the npcs might gang on me which I can easily see happening. This almost looks like something is sticking out of the wall here. Well, where do I find that building? Because, yeah, well, hops and that shouldn't be that that hard to find hops. Where the heck was it? Um, one sec. Yeah, the condemned building, I think it's part of it. Um, Gora Smithy. So I need to get up top. Can I get up this way? Nope. Can I go this way? Just more tents with no one there. Okay, so... Will this take me up? Maybe there'll be some stairs? Nope. I think this is Gord Smithy still. Yeah. Gora Smithy. Well, I think of Gord. I used to know a, a Gord. Okay, so apparently that's the back of Gord Smithy. Gora Smithy. <laughs> and I need to find the condemned building, which I assume is here. Tarn. Bear Crusher. Can I go in here? 
Okay, now one of them says it has actually a wire trap. Now what the heck is a wire trap? It says empty as an oven outside. Okay, um, I don't think this is an end. I think this is the empty building. How do you, how do you, oh, did I just go through the wall? I think I did. Yeah. Okay, so this is the room I was in. Go, oh, this way. Um, hearing people cast spells, I'm a little, little apprehensive about that myself. So yeah, this is the door I could not go into from the outside. It's the condemned building. So here's down. Well, I need to get that map down there. Uh, so I believe it will be... Well, it says A. Empty building with secret entrance to stairs A. Oh, this is exactly where I want to be. Um, oven outside. Okay, so it will lead me to... Switching maps, a different page, a whole bunch of different pages here. Lead me to a Shadow Knight trainer, apparently. Um, I'm kind of praying that no one can see through my my hiding here. Okay, well, I assume there's a door here. No, door does not take you out of stealth, as far as I know. Derping's corpse. I was, was I not here? Ah, uh, that's confusing. Was I not just there? I saw Derping's corpse earlier. Well, now I'm curious to know where the heck this was. Uh, it's not a, it's not a hidden door. There's three doors here. I don't know who all these people are. <laughs> and I'm too afraid to take stealth off because death... Death is always a good incentive not to take your stealth off. Miss Moore taught me that very well. Here, here she is. The one who attacked me. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Better be able to find my way back. Okay, so... Go through there. Well, it's a whole host of trainers. That's basically what it is. <laughs> Um, you, I mean, I don't have to go through all of this. I, I'm not going to be the guinea pig to find out um, who does what for you guys. You'll have to figure it out if you're going to play an evil class and come down for the trainers yourself. I mean, it's a little crazy since you don't know who's going to attack you. Um, but in this area, there's the uh, cleric, necromancer trainers, the warrior, shadow knight, uh, enchanter, magician, and wizard trainers. Uh, more cleric and necromancer trainers, um, shadow knight trainers, a whole bunch of them. Um, then there's Rogue Trainers and the Dark Elf Rogue Trainer. And uh, that's it. So from here on in, I'm going to go and read the backstory, which is not too long, actually. And then we'll go over the maps, <laughs> which uh, may, be, may take me a while. Yeah, it's just three pages. Okay, this is the story from the Project 99 wiki about Freeport. Freeport is considered by most to be the hub of Antonica for a variety of reasons. It is the mercantile center of the continent since it holds the only port with a regular boat to the island continent of Fedor. It holds facilities for most of the artisan trades and most budding craftsmen travel to Freeport to take advantage of the readily available facilities. Freeport is also the hub for traffic of all sorts. The good races travel its streets to go to their guilds and their shops as well as to the boat to Fedor and the dark races travel through the sewers to reach most of the same destinations. Guild halls for all classes except for rangers, druids, and shamans are present within the city. Surrounding areas. Freeport lies at the intersection of several notable areas of Antonica. To the west of Freeport lies the Commonlands, a vast tract of forested plains that are ringed by desert. In that direction lie the other large cities of the humans, Highhold Keep and Kainos, and most distantly the homes of the Barbarians and the Erudites. To the south of Freeport lies the vast desert of Ro, which stretches south until it reaches the swamps of the ogres and trolls. This vast, untamed desert still holds the sand giants and dervish cutthroats that have made it dangerous to travel for generations. To the east of Freeport lies the vast ocean of tears, and it is over the ocean that the ships of the humans travel to provide trade to the distant lands of the dwarves, elves, and gnomes. Traveling to and from Freeport. Freeport can be reached from the east 
Uh, from across the ocean of tears by the ships that regularly travel the route. From the south, one travels to the northern desert of Roe, and from there into East Freeport. From the west, one travels to the easternmost part of the common lands, and from there into West Freeport. History. Freeport started out in the combine years when pirates found the deep port waters of use for their smuggling operations. At the time, only a, sm a few small towers stood, abandoned by the tear dome. Over time, a small village named Wiel appeared, but not much else is known, except that the Combine Empire had no interest in it. The pirates continued to maintain the illusion that no one lived there by keeping Wiel in a state of utter disrepair. After the Combine finally fell, thousands of people drifted, and the ranks of Wiel swelled. It was during this time a high elven governor named At Altal landed in Wiel. With him came several by ships filled with laborers and artisans. It is suspected that during At Altal's time in the Combine Empire, he had worked to hide Wiel, which would explain the Combine's lack of involvement in the community. At Altal was much loved in Wiel and was, in fact, was their ruler, though not in name. He rebuilt Wiel wheel and installed new piers and docks, built walls around the exterior, and not only did trade bloom, but the population grew. Ataltel had great vision, a plan for the future, and the name of Wheel slowly changed. Folks began to call it Landing. As Landing grew, it began to attract the attention of the Dark Elves. Their rulers decided to end the threat and sent a force of necromancers, shadow knights, priests, warriors, and rogues to infiltrate and destroy the city. This group called itself the Divine Rage because they felt that they were the tools of Inarok's wrath, intent only on destroying those of the city and taking back their land. They succeeded to some extent by helping Death Fist orc raids, destroying crops, disrupting trade, and attacking Ataltel's men. They generally caused havoc in every way possible. Ataltel responded by putting together an army, and local wizards organized themselves and helped. The situation came to a head and a battle erupted. This proved to be a turning point for landing, called the Long Night. By the time the battle was over, most of the leaders of the Divine Rage were captured or killed, and the Death Fist army was crushed. Some of the Divine Rage fled the city. What remained changed their name to the Dismal Rage and went underground. Unfortunately, Ataltel himself disappeared, and over the years, many rumors have arisen indicating that he may have headed to Niriak to protect Landing's future and to ruin further Dark Elven plans. He's said to still be alive today. The wizards that have helped Ataltel opened a school today called the Academy of Arcane Science. For five years after Ataltel's disappearance, the city remained without leadership. Ordinary craftsmen, traders, and merchants organized a group called the Coalition of Trade Folk. The coalition regulated trade and commerce within the city. Not long after, several less than reputable traders joined it, and in some ways these ruffians were good for the city because they helped keep crime down, knowing that too much would be bad for business. They dealt very harshly with lawbreakers, a group called the Order of Mars Fist to control. They began by cleaning out the common lands of the orc threat and started regular patrols. They established trade routes to High Keep and Fadewer. At this time, the orc raids grew more and more fierce. Mercenaries gathered together and formed the Steel Warriors. The Hand of Mars Fist started a wholesale crusade against the Death Fist orcs, who had a tower near landing called Befallen. The fighting was very fierce and lasted three days. The carnage was so great that the earth around the Befallen was red for ten days. After a few years of peaceful rule, the city changed its name to Freeport and thrived. The priests and paladins of Mar continued to have problems with various factions throughout the years, but this was a time of bravery and much heroism throughout the, the land. In 3150, the leaders of the Order of Mar's Fist had a vision that inspired a crusade to Fadewer. Several months passed as ships were built, supplies stocked, and men trained. And by the time they left, nearly the entire city was emptied of their presence. Sir Lucan de Lair, a paladin in good standing, was left in charge along with a handful of priests and paladins. Lucan enjoyed his popularity and worked with enthusiasm. However, his zeal for power grew, and the priests of Mara grew concerned. By this time, Lucan had employed numerous mercenaries to assure the walls of Freeport were manned properly. The priests decided one of their members would confront him and sent sentry Dulius to, or Dilius to Lucan, demanding he give up control of the city. Lucan killed sentry Dilius in a fit of blind rage, and was stripped of his paladin status forever. The priests and militia settled in for a siege. However, without the support of the Steel Warriors or the Academy of Arcane Scientists or others, Lucan thought he was going to be ousted when the Hand of Mar returned. 
He made some secret arrangements with the Dismal Rage, who agreed to help him, though it is uncertain just what the cost of this was. When the Paladins finally arrived home, successful on their crusade, they were tired from the long journey and in no mood for more fighting. Though some sporadic fighting still broke out and was swift swiftly quelled, they retired peacefully to the Temple of Mar. The stalemate remains much the same today. Local Color Places Freeport is a city of many layers, both good and bad as one would expect from a town so busy and so large. The tunnels beneath the city allow the dark races to connect to the various areas of the city, including their dark guilds as well as the docks. Certain parts of the city are relatively unsafe. The worst is an East Freeport at the Bazaar. The guards in the area are unaware of what goes on just below the surface, and one will commonly see dark elves traveling through the area. This is also where the surface access to the guilds hidden from the rest of the city are located. Other places of note are the Temple of Methaniel Mar in North Freeport, which is laid out in the whitest granite, granite and very different from the rest of the city, as well as the Guild Hall of the Magic Users, a wonderful floating structure over a small pond with teleporters as its only access. Most of the shops lie in North Freeport around the vicinity of the bank and in East Freeport. People. The people in East Freeport are as varied as the town itself. Traveling through the city, one can see an entire range of races, including ogres and dark elves, humans and elves, and various beggars in between. Also, it is not uncommon to see several of the more powerful members of their guilds traveling through Freeport on their way to other places or engaged in some transaction. The guards of Freeport constantly roam the corridors and to the naked eye could be considered normal guards. Beneath the surface, however, the paladins of Methaniel Mar secretly hunt the guards for they are corrupt, and as rumors have it, their leader was a banished paladin himself. Okay, so I think I was incorrect. Those were not warrior guards in North Report. I think that those were the paladin guards that they just talked about there. All right, now let's get to the map. So here's where we started out, East Freeport. Let's go over the legend for the map. Armor, uh, sorry, number one, armor by Ichthar with merchants selling chain and plate armor, armor molds, clay, chain sectionals, shield molds, plate molds, forge outside. Two is Trader's Holiday with merchants selling blacksmithing molds and books, alcohol, brew barrel, and oven inside. Three is Tavern with merchants selling racial alcohol. Four, Veleth and Bardo imported goods with merchants selling racial alcohol, blacksmithing books, file molds, and other molds loom upstairs. Five, Leather and Hide with merchants selling small, medium leather armor and patterns. Six, Priest of Discord. Seven, Grub and Grog Tavern merchants selling alcohol and food has brew barrel and oven inside. 8. Freeport Inn with merchants selling food and other goods. Soul binder outside. Uh, what's a soul binder? <laughs> 9. Port Authority with merchants selling fishing supplies. 10. The dock for boat to Ocean of Tears, Butcher Block Mountains, and the rest of Phaedra. 11. Seafarer's Roost with merchants selling odd and unusual beers, throwing weapons and lockpicks. Brew barrel inside, entrance to stairs B in East Freeport Tunnels. 12. In. Secret entrance to the underground tunnels with Necromancer, Shadow Knight, and Rogue Guilds, as well as Nick Guildmaster for the other classes for evil races guarded by Trap Wire. I haven't found that. 13. Empty building with secret entrance to A and East Freeport tunnels, oven outside. 14. Empty building. 15. Gord Smithy with merchants selling various weapons and bags, forge outside. 16. Chops and Hops with merchants selling alcohol and has oven inside. 17. Hallards resales with merchants selling various weapons, also KOS dog named Scraps. <laughs> Wasn't to me. Now, West Freeport. Merchant, uh, sorry, number one, merchant selling brewing supplies. Number two, ogre selling pickled items. Number three, Freeport militia with warrior guild forge out back. Number four, merchant selling cloth armor. Five, magician, enchanter, and wizard guild sells tomes, gems, and violet robes. Six, Warrior Guild with merchants selling various weapons, Forge and Freeport Forge out the back. Seven, Arena, PvP area, Warrior Trainers in Balcony. Eight, Smithy, merchants selling pottery supplies, pottery wheel, inside and kiln outside. Nine, Hog Collars Inn, sells alcohol, Lady Shea inside. Brew Barrel outside. Ten, The Stage. Eleven, Brownlow Bakery, sells food items with bowls, kiln, and pottery wheel outside. Twelve, Ashen Order. Monk Guild Hall, merchants selling throwing weapons and musical instruments. 13, Torlig's Herbs and Medicines, sells potions, crystals, and mistletoe. 14, Empty Building, Oven Inside. North Freeport. 
Number one, office of landholders with merchants selling food and other goods and cooking books. Two, Hall of Truth, the Paladin Guild. Three, Temple of Methanomar, guilds for the clerics and paladins. Four, Grof, Grofla, Forger, Grofla's Forger with merchants selling ore, weapons, clay, sharpening stones, smithing equipment, forge outside door. Five, Mars Hearts, Chords, Bard Guild Hall, merchants selling throwing weapons and musical instruments. Six, Freeport City Hall. Seven, Coalition of Trade Folks with merchants selling food and other goods. Eight, Guard House. Nine, Empty Building. Ten, The Blue Building with merchants selling jewelry, metals, gems, and books. Eleven, Jade Tiger Den with merchants selling food and other goods. Twelve, Tassels Tavern with merchants selling alcohol, brew barrel inside. Thirteen, Emporium with merchants selling medium cloth items, forge outside door. 14. Empty Building. 15. Bank of Freeport. Merchant selling gems. 16. Tavern with merchant selling food items, meat pies, has brew barrel and oven inside and pottery wheel and kiln outside. 17. Merchant selling fletching and bow making supplies, oven outside. 18. Merchant selling food and other goods. 19. Clothier shop with merchants selling pot pottery, sketches, and cloth armor. This is the West Freeport Tunnels. As you can see, I didn't get to go to the upper half, which leads to North Freeport. Uh, but there's only one thing there, and number one is Flooded Room. So, it's not like we missed much. Number two is Toxdill, a rogue dealing in poison. And number three is a flooded water cistern, which I fell into. Alright, on the final map, the East Freeport Tunnels. Number one, Cleric and Necromancer Trainers. Two, Warrior, Shadow Knight, Enchanter, Magician, and Wizard Trainers. Three, Cleric and Necromancer Trainers. Four, Cleric and Shadow Knight Trainers. Five, Shadow Knight Trainer, Merchant Selling Weapons and Spells. Six, Cleric and Necromancer Trainers, Merchant Selling Spells. Seven, Necromancer Trainer, Merchant Selling Necromancer Equipment and Spells. Eight, Shadow Knight Trainer, Merchant Selling Weapons. 9. Rogue Trainers, 10. Dark Elf Rogue Trainer, 11. Rogue Trainers, 12. Rogue Guild Master and Trainers, A. Stairs up to hidden entrance to building 13 in East Freeport, and B. Door to building 11 in East Freeport. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.